Welcome to our program Healthy Eating for 6 to 24 month old children. Moving on. From 6 to 12 months of age, babies gradually learn to eat different food textures and various kinds of food. They will also eat more solid food. Also, they start holding food to eat. Now, let's see how parents can help their babies to adapt to the changes in the way they eat. I'm Kelly. When I was six months old, Mummy let me try rice cereal and a bit of food puree. The nurse at the health centre told Mummy to change the food texture gradually so that I could learn to chew. The nurse also said that I need to eat foods that are rich in iron. So Mummy put vegetables and meat into the rice cereal. I eat more and more rice cereal and gradually drink less milk. Now I am still breastfed because Mummy knows that breast milk is nutritious and makes me strong so that I won't get sick so easily. Yesterday, Mummy saw that I picked up things myself. She said she would give me a vegetable stalk and a spoon so that I could learn to eat myself. That's great! Kelly's mum was right. Parents should give nutritious food in suitable textures according to what their babies can chew and swallow. When a baby starts eating solid food, he can only eat smooth and runny puree or mashed food. After trying these for two to three weeks, you can make the baby's cereal and food puree thicker and let him try thin congee as well. As your baby gets used to these textures, you can mash some soft food, such as egg yolk or tofu, and give him strained food. After he adapts to the strained food, you can give him some finely chopped green veggies, minced meat and thick congee. At around one year old, you can offer him soft rice. You should change food textures step by step with patience. Taking vegetable and meat congee as an example, you can first thicken the congee. Then you can change the fineness of the chopped vegetables and minced meat. During this transitional period, parents may have some concerns. My baby hasn't got any teeth yet. Can he eat minced meat? Even though your baby does not have any teeth, he can chew with his gums. Most babies can eat tiny pieces of minced meat when they are 9 to 10 months old. Keep giving babies purees. They may have a problem with food, of course, and tough textures in the future and may become picky eaters. I gave my baby some minced meat, but he gagged and spat it out. I worry that he may be choking. What should I do? If your baby is not used to lumpy food, he may spit it out or even gag. This is a normal reaction. Keep calm. If you act nervous, you may scare your baby. After cleaning up, you can let him try again, but give him smaller mouthfuls. If he still spits out the food, you should prepare the food in a finer texture and give him more time to adapt. Also, when your baby isn't capable of chewing, he might not eat much solid food. In this case, you should give him milk until he is full. Giving your baby a variety of foods can help him get used to different food tastes and get the nutrients he needs. So how does a baby go from eating a small amount of puree to eating a nutritious and balanced meal? Let's have a look. Offer babies food that they are able to chew and swallow. Babies at this stage need more iron, so you should give them iron-rich food such as baby rice and wheat cereal with added iron, meat, egg yolk and liver, dark green leafy vegetables and dry beans. Parents should note that rice congee contains much less iron than baby rice cereal. 
make sure that iron-rich foods are offered at each meal before replacing baby rice cereal with congee. Fish soup and meat soup have very little amount of nutrients. Feed your baby some minced meat or fish in suitable textures so that they can get enough nutrients. Give your baby new food in the morning so that you have more time to watch for any allergic reactions such as skin rashes, diarrhea or vomiting. Give your baby one to two teaspoons of the new food directly. You may also mix the new food with the food that your baby is used to eating. Keep trying the same food for two to three days. If your baby has no allergic reactions, you can offer another new food. Babies accept new food more readily before one year of age. But some babies may take a dozen times before they will eat. If your baby refuses the new food, you can let him try again a few days later. As soon as your baby gets used to eating from a spoon, you can feed him solid food two or three times a day. When your baby gets hungry, you feed him solid food first and then give him milk until he is full. Around one year old, most babies eat two meals of congee or soft rice each day and have snacks or fruits once or twice a day. They only need milk two to three times a day. How do I replace a milk feeding with a meal of congee? When your baby can eat about half a bowl or more of congee or soft rice with meat and vegetables in a meal and does not need to have milk afterwards for several days, then you can replace one milk feeding. Knowing the changes in food that the baby needs, let's see how Kelly gradually moves from eating rice cereal to meat and vegetable congee twice a day. Hi, it's me, Kelly again. At six months old, when I got used to eating rice cereal, Mummy fed me two to three times a day. She also let me try two new foods each week. Mummy usually gave me new food at midday. I didn't eat a lot, so I needed milk to fill up. Mummy also mixed and matched different kinds of food into my meals so that I could get a balanced mix of nutrients. The first new food I tried was spinach. I did not have any rashes or other bad reactions after trying it for two to three days. Then mummy gave me egg yolk. In the next week, mummy gave me some carrot and thread fin fish. The fish was rather coarse, so I had to chew a bit. I got tired and ate very little, so I needed some milk to fill up. In the third week, Mummy gave me some more new food to try. I ate very well. I finished half a bowl of rice cereal with fish. I needed less milk to fill up. When I was seven months old, I had already tried many different kinds of food. Every time I had veggies, meat, egg or fish. I also had a different fruit puree as a snack every day. Then mummy gave me congee every other day. At first, she added egg yolk and hairy melon into the congee. I didn't like it and ate only a little. Mummy didn't force me. The next day she put pumpkin and grass carp into the congee. Oh yummy! It's tasty! You see? I tried many different kinds of food. At eight months old, Mummy gave me some of the food I didn't like to eat before. But she cooked them in different ways and combinations. 
I liked eating them. By that time, I could eat different kinds of food in various combinations. I am now nine months old. I have veggie and meat congee twice every day. After eating a little more than half a bowl of congee, I am full and do not need milk to fill up. Mummy said she would let me try macaroni and bread later. I can share smaller pieces of family food very soon. This saves time in cooking. Then, Mummy can have more time to play with me. I love you, Mummy. In short, it takes time for your baby to adapt to eating solid food. Like Kelly, your baby needs more time to adapt when there is a bigger change in the food you give. If babies don't want to eat the food, parents should try other combinations or change the cooking method so that babies can make a smooth transition to eating adult meals.